it was full talent on display the best of under 17 players across the african continent so we've come to the end of the group stages of the 2023 CAF under 17 championship and in group a which had Algeria, the host nation, Senegal, also Congo, and then Somalia. Well, Senegal finished on top. So, so far, Senegal have proved to be the best team in the whole competition in the group stages. They scored seven goals in the group stages, considered none, and then won all their three games. So, nine points for Senegal as they finished top of the group. But finishing second place was Algeria, who got four points, and then third place was Congo Brazzaville, who got that is two points. And then Somalia with just a single point finished in last place in the group stages. But in Group B, where a lot of drama was actually, especially on the final, the Morocco finished on top with six points. They were ahead of Nigeria in terms of that is head to head because they won their game when they played against Nigeria. So they finished first place. Second place was Nigeria, also had six points. But as I mentioned earlier on, the head-to-head -head brought them down to second place behind Morocco. And then third place was South Africa, who had three points. And they also finished ahead of Zambia, who also had three points because of the head-to-head -head rule. So South Africa won their game against Zambia, and that put them through ahead of Zambia in the group standings. In Group C, that's the final group. One team in the group, that South Sudan, was actually disqualified from the group stages. So it had to be just three teams playing. Cameroon, who are the defending champions of the competition, Mali, and then also Burkina Faso. So in Group C, Mali were on top. They won the group, won the two games they played, and got six points. They also are yet to concede a goal, they scored three goals in the process. Then second place was Burkina Faso, who won one game against Cameroon, and then the defending champions finished last, last place in the group stages with zero points from the games, losing all the other two games they played. So um, this competition had 12 teams participating and it's that means that two of the best third place finishers will be advancing to the next stage to play in the quarterfinal. And because in Group C, they had just three teams competing. For CAF, in order, in order for this to be fair, CAF brought out a rule that for the third place teams, the result against the team which finishes last place in the group will not be counted just to make it fair for that is group c because they were playing just two matches and then in group a and group b they were playing three matches so in group a the third place team was congo and against the fourth place team that's somalia in that group they got a single point so that was not going to be counted so that was taken out of their total points and left them with one point that's the point they got after they played a draw with Algeria. In Group B, the third place team was South Africa and they had three points. But their three points came from a win against that is Zambia, who were the fourth place team. So that was taken out and they had zero points in the rankings. So in the other Group C, the third place team was Cameroon. They lost all their games and there was no fourth team in that group because South Sudan pulled out of the competition. So Cameroon had zero points in the ranking, but, but South Africa had a better goal difference rule than Cameroon, and that sends them through ahead of Cameroon. So Congo and South Africa are two teams who went through as the best third place teams. So the quarterfinal fixtures are set, and in the first quarterfinal, Senegal, that's the team who have played three games and scored in all their games, seven goals for an unconsidered play against South Africa who finished third place in Group B. Nigeria were playing against Burkina Faso, who finished second place in Group C. So Nigeria finished second place also in their Group B. So two second place teams playing. And then Mali, who won their group, who were playing against Congo Brazzaville, who also finished second place. Then the final clash in the quarterfinal stage will be the North African affair. That's Morocco, who won their group, will be playing against Algeria. So it's a fierce stage now at the competition. And at the quarterfinal stage, four teams will be qualifying to the semi final. And those four teams will also make it to the FIFA Under 17 World Cup. So any of the teams who win their game are going straight into the Under 17 FIFA men's world cup so there's a lot at stake and the game starts from the 10th of may 2023 so we wait to see who will progress beyond the quarterfinal stage to the semi-final and ultimately to the fifa under 17 men's world cup